So, you recently picked up an iPhone 13 Pro in the beautiful Sierra Blue. I gotta tell you guys, this color is absolutely stunning. Or maybe you're waiting for your order to ship. Nonetheless, this video, I'm gonna show you guys some accessories to kind of go along with that Sierra Blue. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. First up, an Apple Watch band. Now, this is a brand new color. This is called Northern Blue for the 44 millimeter. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on picking up that brand new Apple Watch Series 7. I'm trying to debate if I should go with the graphite or titanium, but nonetheless, I believe this color is gonna match really well with the Sierra Blue. Okay, not too shabby. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it's something that's gonna complement each other well. It's like a part of the same family. I'm actually gonna put this on right now. Of course, I have this space gray aluminum. And now, I'm styled out. <laughs> So yeah, it matched really well, but it would be nice if I have a stainless steel Apple Watch. Perhaps maybe the silver one would match pretty well. Now next up, charging. This is a Lightning to Type C. This one here is from Anchor. I like stop. This looks so much better than the cable that Apple comes with. This is not one to one, but it's enough where it could say you could get away with it. I mean, look at that. I wish the iPhone had type C, but, <laughs> but yeah, this is one to one right here. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool and it's anchor. So it's one of those brands that you definitely can stand by. You could trust it been around for years. So Apple Identify certified. Yeah. You don't have nothing to worry about with anchor. And then essentially you could even pair the power line with the nano pro. Now this is anchors brand new 20 watt power adapter. You can get the color that match exactly like the Sierra blue. It's called Glacier Blue. Unfortunately, I don't have it here. I just have the regular white and silver. Yeah, so that Glacier Blue is gonna look gorgeous. Already, we, we have a nice little ecosystem going on. An Apple Watch band to match, the charger to match. Right now, we good, but why stop there? Let's go with a silicone case for the AirPods. Now, if you have an iPhone, chances of you have some kind of AirPods. I'm gonna be honest, this really, this is definitely the lightest blue, but surprisingly, it still matches. I think any light blue color is going to match with the Sierra Blue. So now, you have the blue AirPods to match alongside with the Sierra Blue. And of course, the case still works. Opens and closed. Your port is covered. So you have some protection to the lightning port on the bottom. And the best of all, you have a carabiner clip. So you can clip this on pretty much anything. Clip it onto your keys, your belt, whatever the case may be. They also sell one for the AirPods Pro. Okay, here's an AirPods Pro with the same carabiner clip. And yeah, exactly the same, but just for the AirPods Pro. On the lightest shade of the Sierra Blue, cause sometimes the Sierra Blue has a little, like a, a silvery look depending on the lighting. But right now, this is, this is definitely one to one. Even on camera too, it looks pretty nice. If you want to protect your beautiful iPhone, you might want to get a clear case. So you're protecting while keeping the color of your phone, showcasing that color. You know, like, okay, he has the new iPhone. <laughs> Once that light hit it, you know, you know. And the best of all, this case will not turn yellow. This one here is from Caseco. And shout out to Khalifa, he put me onto this. The only problem with this case I don't like, no MagSafe. Now MagSafe is going to have that white ring I'm not a fan of that design either, but nonetheless, I use MagSafe for charging, put it up as my car mount. Yeah, so MagSafe is everything. It's still, it'll still work, but it's not gonna attach fully on there securely. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I might even actually go caseless this year. I might rock out with no case for the iPhone this year. Um, I haven't went caseless since the iPhone 4S. I'll throw a link in the description to this. You have different kinds of colors, so this is the clear. They had offer in blue. I should have got the blue, but I wanted to showcase all the Sierra blue in its glory. It comes with a stand. So you can stand up your iPhone with no problems, watch your videos, use it as a nightstand. Yeah, this is dope. Oh, wow. It really holds up an iPad Pro. So you have a little bit of lip protection going on, but I still highly recommend a screen protector because once you have a scratch on your phone, you're gonna have that scratch there forever unless you get a replace. 
And that leaves me, screen protectors. So don't make the mistake I made on my iPhone 12. I went with no screen protector and that cost me, I've had a one little micro scratch on the top. You guys might not even be able to see it. Oh yeah, you guys see it there, perfect. So just one little micro scratch on the top, but everything else is still brand spanking new with this phone. I took really good care of this phone actually. Um, but nonetheless, I'm rocking with a screen protector this year, but no case. A little couple of micro scratches on the phone, but it's no biggie because the screen protector is already on. And you guys probably didn't even notice it because it's all like so seamless. Now I'm actually gonna install this on my 13 Pro Max. Now yes, I know this isn't a Sierra Blue accessory. Of course, you have smudge resistance. It's kind of cap because the phone get a little smudgy. Um, scratch protection, extreme clarity. It is pretty clear. You don't even have to read the instructions because what's included inside the box, you have a template. This template is gonna help you install the screen protector. So make sure you wipe it off. There's no smudges. Even comes with some little stickers here to remove any lint. But there's no lint on here whatsoever. Take the template, make sure the logo is on the top. Okay, it's facing upwards the right way. And you just want to put it on the screen. And this is real glass. This is not plastic. And then you just slap the screen protector on. And the best thing of all, it covers the notch so the notch is not open up. I hate those screen protectors where it leaves the notch open. I mean, just cover it. You get what I'm saying? If you cover it, you have protection all around. And I like to press the center and take like a credit card and iron out all the bubbles. Okay. And now everything is like one to one. It just looks like you don't even have a screen protector on, but you do have that protection. Yeah, I love this so much. I highly, strongly, high, highly recommend you pick up a screen protector. As soon as you get your iPhone, put a screen protector on and it feels one to one. Like everything just looks, it looks look like I don't even have nothing. Cases will work fine with the screen protector. And this one here is from iBlazon. This is the Cosmo series. And it just looks stunning. Look at this. Beautiful. Goes perfect with the Sierra Blue. You have the ocean waves, the marble effect, and you have a opening for your cards, Metro card, whatever you like to put it on the back of your phone. Guys, I kid you not, I was looking for my wallet and AirTag just saved me. It was under my bed. Don't know what it was doing there, but you can get away with this combination here. Like, look at this. You can really get away with this. Have your phone a little lighter and this be a little darker. You can get away with that. I'll throw a link in the description to this. This is Esther's wallet. The reason why I love this wallet so much, it can fan out your cards. Hold on, let me see. Okay, I'm good. It can fan out all your cards by pressing one button. Get a lot of looks for just, boop, taking out my ID. But nowadays, I just use my Apple card. Okay, perfect. I could use this card. This is the nothing but tech card. So this is basically my business card here. So I could put this on the back. When it's time to take out your card. Boom. All right, so the pink one... Could be a lot of people's or a lot of females cup of tea, especially if you go with the pink iPhone 13. It could probably match one to one. I actually want to just give this away. So I really don't even want to open it up all the way, but the blue and the pink is going to look hot, especially this kind of blue. Yeah, I'm starting to like this blue. At first, I thought it was a little too light, but it's growing on me. I throw in the description to the Cosmo. This is a stunning case. It looks gorgeous. And next up, I ordered this MagSafe power bank, 4,225 milliamps. I don't know, it's not really looking like it's gonna match with the blue, but let's take it out the box and see. All right, so you got a Type-C to Lightning, and these kind of look like Apple cables too. And you have a Type-C to Type-C for charging. That MagSafe mechanism is not one-to-one. -one. This is more of like a, like a aqua green. It gives me more green vibes than just blue. But nonetheless, it's gonna attach on the back of your phone with no problems. And it's not it's not coming off, so it's on there good. Now this is not Apple, you have a power switch. Oh, this lights up. And it's gonna charge your phone. Yep, phone charging up. So you don't have that MagSafe animation. Nice little cheap alternative. Instead of spending a hundred dollars, you basically this is half the price. 
Now, as we know, the iPhone 13 totally changed the way how we play games on our phones thanks to ProMotion, 120 hertz. Now, yes, I know it's a common thing on the Android, but we're not getting into that. Now, why not take it a step further and get something like this? This is called the Backbone. Now, I made a full-blown video talking about this. It's just amazing. You literally turn your iPhone into a handheld. Uh, a portable gaming console. All right, so since the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max feature a larger camera module, the Backbone One is fitting tighter than ideal, but they offer a free adapter. So this controller is definitely highly recommended if you're playing any kind of games. You have more of an ergonomic feeling. Yeah, you, you can actually click the stick so you can sprint Call of Duty more efficiently. But nonetheless, I highly, highly recommend you get the Backbone One. And especially if you can remote play onto the PS5, the Xbox, you even have cloud gaming. And you even have an output to charge your device so you don't have to worry about removing the iPhone. You can charge it right through here. You have a headphone jack, add an add-in. If Apple were to make an iPhone controller, this would be it. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, I know I cheated a little bit, but come on. This backbone controller is dope. I absolutely love the car mount pro and the screen protector is pretty essential. Make sure you guys thumbs up on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. Comment down below what you guys think. And most importantly, I hope you guys have a simple day. Peace.